What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. I am part owner here at Legacy Family Life and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to write good business and ultimately just want to document a portion of my journey and just be really honest and transparent. I woke up this morning like I want to share with you guys this video because this would have saved me so much money in my business and it's still something that we're going through now that we're trying to fix actively. So we're currently you know working through this on how to write good business, how to find good clients, and ultimately how how to um, build sustainability in your business because our clients pay our bills, our clients pay our employees, our clients, when they make their premium payment, allow us to have the life that we want to have. So let's focus on getting good clients, and ultimately running good business, which can allow you to have a good experience in the life insurance industry. Now, I just want to share with you all the pain, the struggles I went through that cost me thousands and thousands of dollars worth of chargeback. Uh, you see the leaderboards and everyone's making all these sales and making all this money, but they don't see or show their chargebacks or they don't see the NSF returns, which means that their first payment did not go through. They don't see the three months chargebacks, the 12 months chargeback. And right now I am actively trying to master the chargeback game. And I want to share with you five pieces of advice to write good business. If I had this when I first got started, it would have helped me save thousands and thousands of dollars. And even now in our business, we are implementing these five strategies to help us write good business, to have good clients, and to ultimately reduce chargebacks in our business so that we can make more profit and allow us to have the resource to invest in more you know, resources for our company and allow us to build a sustainable life insurance business. Some people get burnt out, hate the life insurance business because of chargebacks. And I wanted to share with you right now these five red flags that you need to watch out for before selling a life insurance policy. The first one is there's no real need for life insurance. You need to run away. If you have that gut feeling like, oh, I just maybe just want to have a little life insurance or, oh, I just want to have something in place. If there's no real need. Don't push policies. Don't just go ahead and get you approved. Don't just go ahead and qualify them and don't just let them have 30 days to think about it inside their grace period and they can call you back and cancel it. Those words canceling and approved and let's just, just see if you can get qualified will ruin your business. And I want you to understand right now there has to be a clear need, which typically comes from some type of clear pain. If you're selling people who don't have clear pain or previous pain, then they might not be a good buyer. That's the number one warning sign I want you guys to look out for. Second thing is um, people are pushing uh, post dates out so far. I'm going to explain to you here in a second um, why this is so important. There's people you've probably sold, especially when it comes to final expense, where you know it could be the third of the month right now and they get paid um, social security billing and they're like, hey, let's go ahead and start this. Let's say you're talking to them on the third and they're like, hey, let's go ahead and start this next month, next month on the third. But I'm thinking to myself, Mr. Jimmy, you just got paid today, right? Why not just have the money to pay for it today? And so many of us, and even when I was you know, ignorant in this business and didn't know anything, I was like, okay, yeah, let's just push it out. Let's go ahead and move it out to next third. I just want this, you know, I, I want to collect the AP to look good on the scoreboard, but it wasn't helping me build a profitable business. And typically when the third came around, if they didn't have the money now on the third, they probably won't have the money now on the third. And um, what I wanna share with you is this removing post dates. This is the only product where typically you can buy something and not pay for it until that date comes in. So want you to be mind, mindful of those post dates. Try to sell immediate business. Try to get them to pay for it today. It will create a higher likelihood of you keeping good business on the books that we are just going through right now. Third thing is low, low premium. So it's funny. I made this video because I was going through, <clears throat> I was going through some of the clients that elapsed in my old business and I was seeing $30 premiums, $19 premiums, you know, $42 premiums, $47 premiums. Uh, but the people on like the 80, 90, 100, 120, we're still in the books. And uh, the third thing or warning sign you want to look out for is low premiums. Anything under $50, $60, you should probably avoid. Now, you're going to find some great people who are in that range, but 99 majority of what I've seen in the data that we have concluded is that these low premiums create low quality people. They can't afford $30 now, mid month. How are they going to keep their life insurance? Later down the road when a bill comes up when their tires need changed or when their granddaughter has a birthday present. Are they gonna pick the life insurance for $30 or are they gonna buy their granddaughter that $30 you know, little birthday dress? Uh, and that's what I want you guys to be mindful of. We're not here just to push people through. We wanna really be mindful and check with them. One thing that I do in, in our sales process that we've harped on that can be very, very helpful for you to help you build a better business or to help you actually make more money in this industry is to ask Miss Susie, can you promise me, do you have that money right now? Will you have that money? Can you please make those promises to me right now? Because if we buy this life insurance today and 12 months down the road, something comes up and you don't have the money account, then I just stole from you and I do not want to do that. I want to make sure we have a permanent solution in place for a lifetime, okay? 
And then you're not just rushing, you're not pushing people through, and it all determines by their low, low premiums. The fourth thing, red flag you must look out for um, <clears throat> is the way they actually sell. Um, it's not like that trickery, like, oh, let's just go ahead and get you approved. Let's just see if we can get you signed up. Again, you don't have to pay for anything today. Again, you don't have to put any like card information down here. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get your application taken care of. Let's see if we can get you medically qualified. Er, do not do that. You will kill yourself. This is how I was told to sell life insurance at first. It ruined my business. It made me have so many chargebacks and people never called back when, when I had these issues. So make sure that you're not just pushing people through. Please make sure you're not just approving them or getting qualified or they can look over their policy in the mail before they can make a decision. Let's send you something first and you can call me back if you don't want it. That is never going to be good, guys. Please write good business. It's going to help you so much. And I can't tell you how many applications that I regret writing and it cost us and something that we avoided all costs here at our agency. Last thing most important that we're seeing most relevant right now is um, card business. Card business is no bueno. Um, some carriers allow you to write card business. I'm going to share with you what that's done for us. So first and third has just passed and we've seen that most of our business that did go through card business came back rejected. Banks don't like it. Um, they're using some people we have found are even trying to put it on credit cards, which is ridiculous. Um, Direct Express didn't have the money. Cards expire, and <clears throat> card business is unreliable. So right now, if you have a card business store, especially if you're selling final expense, some some particular companies will allow it for it. But we want to go ahead and remove that. That's our goal here is to remove all card business from the future because you know their card changes, their card gets hacked every week. It seems like with some of these seniors because. There's just some bad people that are targeting them and their cards. Um, and car business is so unreliable. And I don't think it's sustainable. So you always want to secure a proper way to help them make their payments. Routing an account number. That cannot be helped. That's actually the most secure. The routing account number, if they have a bank, is going to be the best way to you know have a client fund their life insurance. And the reason is, is if someone in society in 2023 does not have an active bank account, they don't have probably a driver's license, they probably don't have a way to be tracked by like their IRS, why not paying taxes if they don't have a bank account? Um, and they're not really a, a, a responsible person. So do you want to build a, cl a clientele of irresponsible people? The answer is probably no. So those are just the five, five signs that <clears throat> really destroyed my business when I was first on our own. And then as we're building an agency now that we're keeping our agents up to date with, and we're really just starting to identify. So I wish I really saw this video when I first got started. That's why I made it for you here um, on a Sunday. I woke up 7.45, I'm like, dang, this is the first thing I wanna talk about. It's on my mind. And I wanna help you guys in your business. A lot of people are like, push the policies. And a lot of people you guys don't see are selling on YouTube. Oh, our agency did $500,000 last month. That could be card business. That could be applications that are getting pushed through. If you do 500,000 of AP and only 100,000 goes through, you did 100,000 AP. And then that's where the game actually begins. The way to win this game is to play it the right way, the ethical way, and that's our mission here at Legacy Family Life is to help clients, help agents, and ultimately allow us to provide an opportunity to feed our families by helping other people. And the five chargeback ways for good business can help you get to where you want to be and has helped us grow our agency uh, pretty rapidly. I love you guys. Hope this video helped you. Just want to provide value to help you on your life insurance business. If you need anything, reach out. Take care. Cheers. Bye.